In age when speed is a virtue, the faster, the better, our lives have become a dizzying blur, of hustle and bustle. From the moment we wake up, until the last second of the clock strikes midnight, our days are full of tasks, deadlines, and a never-ending quest for efficiency. Technology fuels this rapid pace, promising convenience, but takes away our peace. We try to beat the clock by crossing things off our to-do lists, equating busyness with productivity, and productivity with living. We are under the illusion that the more we do, the more we achieve, and the more we live. But have we paused to think about whether this is truly the case? Does doing more mean that you live more? Is speed the most important thing in our life? As we try to answer these questions, let's learn more about Tommaso, a simple baker. His story is the opposite of our fast-paced story, showing a way of life that challenges the idea of faster is better. His journey explores another way of looking at things, the art of living more by slowing down. Once upon a time, in the middle of a busy city, there was a small bakery owned by a man named Tommaso. He was known for having quick hands and being able to make loaves of bread with lightning speed. But even though he worked hard, sales at the bakery were going down. People started finding his bread monotonous. It lacks the soul, they'd whisper, as they left his bakery for newer, more innovative ones. In order to to revive his business, Tommaso started making bread in ways he had never done before. But none of these things worked. The bread still lacked that, something, which customers were looking for. His bakery felt lifeless, and a cloud of despair hung over him. One day, when Tommaso was going through some old things, he found a book of recipes that his grandmother had used. A recipe called The Loaf of Contentment stood out among the pages, that had turned yellow over time. In his grandmother's beautiful handwriting was a note that said, not for the hurried heart, but for the patient soul. The recipe was a simple one, but it called for an unusually long fermentation process, which the dough to rise for a day and a night. Tommaso chose to try this slow recipe, because he was interested and wanted to search that missing fulfillment in this craft. As Tommaso started to follow the recipe, he found himself slowing down to match the rhythm of the dough. It was a big change from how quickly he usually moved. The waiting was difficult, but it gave Tommaso time to think about the art of baking. He thought about how simple ingredients blend together, how they change during fermentation, and how the heat in the oven is magical. When the loaf was done, it wasn't the prettiest or biggest loaf he had ever made. But it smelled, felt, and tasted like nothing he had ever tried before. It was as if the bread contained a part of his soul. Tommaso shared this bread to the people who always buy from him. From the first bite, it was clear that this wasn't just bread. It showed how important time, patience, and living in the moment are. Customers loved it, and they began to appreciate the beauty of waiting for this special loaf, savoring each bite. From that day forward, Tommaso's baking changed. He kept making the loaf of contentment every day. And when he wasn't doing that, he tried out new slow recipes. Even though his shop didn't have as many kinds of bread as it used to, each loaf on the shelf now told a story of love, patience, and happiness. As Tommaso's ideas about baking changed, so did the way he ran his shop. Every morning, the air smelled like slow-baked bread, and the shelves which used to be empty, were now filled with fewer, but far more special loaves of bread. Each loaf seemed to give off a feeling of warmth and care, that showed how much love and time had gone into making them. News of the Loaf of Contentment started to spread across the city. People started standing in line outside Tommaso's bakery before dawn, eager to try the famous bread. Once empty, the bakery was now full of people. Laughter and chatter filled the air, as did a sense of community people all over the city heard about how Tommaso's bakery had miraculously turned around, and he became a big deal. 
His story was told in the local paper and picked up by the TV news. That told the story of the baker, who brought customers back to his shop by slowing down. Tommaso's bakery was no longer just a bakery, it had become a sign of love, patience, and taking things slowly. Tommaso was no longer just a cook either. He had become a beacon of contentment and fulfillment. He was living proof that sometimes you need to slow down to live more. So, Tommaso kept baking, and every day he got to enjoy the benefits of his slow, deliberate way of life by spreading happiness and satisfaction through the bread he made. The story, The Loaf of Contentment, shows how important it is to take things slowly in a world where speed is everything. Tommaso's journey is one from always being in a hurry and routine production, to mindful and slow creation. At first, he is focused on baking quickly, because he thinks that the more loaves he bakes, the better off he will be. But as the story goes on, he realizes that this fast-paced way of doing things isn't giving him the success or happiness he wants. When Tommaso discovers his grandmother's recipe and dedicates the time and patience it needs, he learns that the process of creation, when done slowly and mindfully, gives the finished product an intangible value. Even though there aren't as many of them, this bread has a soul that his other products didn't have. This slow method not only makes Tommaso happy, but it also brings his failing bakery back to life and makes him famous all over the city. Tommaso's story finds great relevance in our present world, dominated by a culture of speed and immediate gratification. We are often in a race against time, trying to fit more things into our days, believing that doing more equates to living more. But like Tommaso, we may find that this fast-paced way of life makes us feel empty, unfulfilled, and out of touch. Tommaso's change is a strong reminder to take things slowly, enjoy the process, and put quality before quantity. We can try to live more slowly by taking the lessons from Tommaso's journey and using them in our own lives. This can look like fully participating in a talk without being distracted by a device, taking the time to learn a new skill well, appreciating the natural world around us or just taking time to breathe, and be present throughout the day. The loaf of contentment brings to life the concept, that living more doesn't always mean doing more. It shows us that by slowing down, we can add more depth, more soul, and more meaning to our lives and work, leading to greater personal satisfaction. Furthermore, it illustrates that this slow, intentional living can resonate with others, bringing about a larger, community-wide impact. By following the rules of slow living, Tommaso not only reignites his love for baking, but he also gives a new lease on life into his bakery. This shows that the effects of this slow mindset can spread out and touch many people. We can try to find our own loaf of contentment, like Tommaso did, discovering that sometimes the path to living more meaningfully lies in doing less and doing it well.